Um, I guess this, for me, it's, it's pretty new. Yeah, I had a good mate who actually has been trying to recruit Māori and Polynesians because he thinks that would be awesome for the sport, but it's awesome transition from, let's say, rugby mm. or rugby league because obviously we're big, but we're also fast as well. You need some big rigs on the sides of sleds. What are your goals with it for the future? The goal for us is to qualify for Winter Olympics, which is in a few years, depending on the old, whole COVID situation. But before that, we've got to, you know, pretty much get some training in on the ice, which we don't have in this country. How many people are actually involved in the team sport? There's a two-man and there's a four-man, but we've got to have a six or seven so you can rotate in and out. What's the biggest kind of preparation techniques you need to learn to get into this? Like, you're pushing a sled and then you all jump in and then you're going around on ice around all these different corners. Like, that, that's a lot to think about. How do you deal with that? Everyone has their own roles within the sled and it's real technical when you get down to it. The pilot has to learn the course before we go down so he can anticipate the corners and he's pretty much responsible for our lives once we're in the, in the sled going you know, 100 plus k's. Mm. So that's super important. We've got the other guys who need to be, I guess, big and strong and fast, which is why rugby, I think, will be a good transition into bobsled. It's similar to rugby. It's similar to all your power sports. You do your power cleans. You have to re be really good at uh, acceleration, 30, 30 metres, 40 metres, um, throwing balls. Yeah.